Apparently part of the Birmingham mayor's safe streets initiative has to do with getting some animals off the streets. And that has some animal rescue groups confused and upset. WVTM 13's Lisa Crane shows some, us some video that appears to show a Birmingham animal control officer removing a pet cat from its owner's front porch. This graphic on the city of Birmingham's Facebook page has gotten a lot of attention and some not so supportive comments. It shows that as a part of the city's Safe Streets initiative, Animal Control at that time had picked up 10 cats, 8 dogs and 1 pig. The cat roundup also has rescue groups scratching their heads. We weren't aware that a cat would be perceived as a danger to the public. I'm not aware um, of any cat that has killed a person or or caused injuries such that the priority would be to round up cats. And this video from a resident's doorbell camera appears to show a Birmingham animal control officer luring a cat from its owner's front porch with food or treats, then impounding it. You don't walk up on somebody's private property, pick, uh, entice the cat, pick it up, and take it off. You don't do that. The owner was able to get her cat back, but it wasn't easy because Black Cornelia says the officer recorded the cat as a stray and used a different address. The address that was on the paperwork that was submitted by the animal control officer did not match the address of the owner. And so when we saw the video and realized that there was no question that the address would be the address of the owner, that raised a lot of questions for us. Bowman and Black Cornelia say that these colony caretakers have also been threatened by Birmingham Animal Control with a fine of up to $100 if they continue to feed their cats. I'll say this to Animal Control. If I'm out there and I'm feeding my feral cats and you come up to me and you tell me that, I'll say, go ahead and take me on to jail, honey, because you are not getting my $100 and I'm going to continue to do what I'm doing. In Birmingham, Lisa Crane, WVTM 13. And we reached out to the mayor's office about this initiative and how it relates to animals. And at this point, we have not heard back.